Hello my babies. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Siren Red and you're watching Siren Red Tarot. And today I am coming back with another pick a card reading. And this pick a card reading is going to be about Hey, I decided to name this Haters Gonna Hate and Why. So we want to see why haters is going to hate and why. Okay. So just give me a moment to light my candles. My fact, no, I'm gonna shuffle first and then I'm gonna light my candles. I'm gonna attempt to try to do two, but I would mean I have to read three times. So I'm gonna try you guys because let me just finish because my, my incense is going crazy right now. Because I've been real tired lately. I need y'all to pray for my family. I have got some um, diagnosis in my family that wasn't, you know, pleasant for my grandmother and my mother. So I would like you guys to send me some positive energy. Please. Um, yeah, so it's really uh, a weird time for me right now. But I trust God. I trust spirit. I'm not too worried. But it is taking a toll on me. I'm not going to lie. So I did have to take off yesterday and not do my readings. You get what I'm saying? So, um, because of that, that's why you guys didn't get y'all reading yesterday. I apologize, but I do, would you guys like to be a little bit patient with me sometimes? Because I am only human, and sometimes it's just exhausting to read. Like, it's very exhausting sometimes to read. It is exhausting. So haters are gonna hate on pile number one and why? Why are haters hating on pile number one? Let's go ahead and cut it here. Uh, why are haters hating on pile number two? give y'all a moment to choose how are you guys i missed you guys i missed you guys positive energy you know youtube is hard yo people get people who do like online work a lot of slack and they say especially millennials they say that you're lazy and entrepreneurship is lazy and you should get a real job but when i tell you guys i have three online businesses and this shit is not easy it is not easy at all like when i tell you not at all not at all like literally I have to stay on the schedule because if I don't stay on the schedule, I'm not going to be able to get everything done. So it's like, and now that I'm dating and I'm enjoying my dating life, it's like a lot harder. That's what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a stage. She had this big stage stage, but I'm going to go get it um, Friday. Or something like that. Like, uh, go get me the stage bundle. Yeah, so listen, it is not easy at all. Like, not one bit. Not one bit. But we're going to see. Why are haters hating on you? Okay, Pile Number One. Why are haters hating on So this is a little bit straightforward. Why are haters hating on you? Haters are hating on you because you are strong. You are pleasant to be around, yet you don't play any games. So I, what I'm seeing with this car pile number um, one, I'm seeing you're probably a feminine or or, or in, in very in tune with your feminine energy. So if you're a guy, this card for me would mean like, okay, yes, you probably an alpha male or a very high functioning beta male, but you're, um, not to say that you're not in touch with your, not to say that you're not in touch with your masculine, not to say you are, aren't masculine. The issue is you are, you are masculine, but the thing is, 
you're able to get in touch with your feminine side and remember all of us have feminine and uh masculine energy the thing is the masculine energy is logic the last the um the um masculine energy is strength right but the feminine energy is emotions the feminine energy is awareness the feminine energy is understanding the feminine energy is intuition do you know how dangerous a person that is able to tap into both are do you know how do y'all i don't think y'all understand how dangerous that is because of a lot of us especially now in the um now right how the world set up we usually tap into one side so either we're really really feminine or they tell us to be either we're really really feminine or they tell us to be really really masculine right but if you're able to align both and balance and bring balance to both you are a dangerous motherfucker because that's like being a superman because like superman he's strong he can pick up stuff he can throw stuff around he can see he can see new stuff but at the same time he's also has good intuition because if something is happening he can know he notices it's crime he notices that is um that he needs to go to that crime and i don't think i think he got super hearing or something like that too and on top of all that he's using his power for good he's using his power to save people he's superman is a type of person who not only just saves the important people, but saves the quote-unquote homeless men. You get what I'm saying? Not to say I think that homeless people are unimportant, but you get what I'm saying? Like, in, the, in his movies and shows, you don't see him just saving, you know, oh, let me go save the president. Oh, no, let me save anyone off the street, a random baby, a homeless person, a dog, everyone. You get what I'm saying? So that's being empathetic. That's dealing with your emotions. But at the same time, he's super strong. So that is why it's really nobody who can beat. If you don't got kryptonite, you're not beating Superman. You get what I'm saying? If you don't have kryptonite, you're not beating Superman. Because he's a, he's a He's in line with both of his his masculine and feminine. And for some of you guys, that that um that comparison might be a little bit out there to say that you would be Superman, but I feel like you gotta start thinking a little bit more highly highly of yourself. You get what I'm saying? You have to start thinking a little bit more highly of yourself. Why wouldn't you be like Superman or Wonder Woman? You get what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. Whether you are a masculine or feminine, the main energy people hate you, the main reason why people hate on you is because you're able to align both and use both to your advantage. So you're probably really good at making great decisions for your life, but you're also like very, also probably practice self-care. So like you're not, person, you're not a person that's going to take a job just based on the money. You're going to take a job based on how you feel about it, how that job treats you, how that, how that job make you feel in the long run, right? But at the same time, you're um, logical enough to even get a job, to even get your show, your own your own source of income, if that makes sense. You get what I'm saying? So, like, overall, like, I could see why people wouldn't like someone like that because it's really hard to be like that. It's hard to be stable. It's hard to be grounded. It's hard to be sure of yourself. It's hard to love yourself. And to be around someone who does love themselves and does and is grounded is kind of hard. It kind of makes you insecure. It kind of makes you it makes you think about, like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I reach this level of stability? Why can't I reach this level of self-love? Why can't I learn these things? But, I mean... Honestly, like I always say, it's more healed people. I mean, it's, it's more unhealed people than it is healed people. And people got to understand, like, healing is work, but nobody want to do the work. They want to just push everything down, and you can't push everything down and then want benefits like this that come that only go to heal people who've done the work. The next card out is you got chameleon. Well, it's a salamander, but when I see it, I think of a uh, chameleon. So, why people hate you is your favor is your is your ability to adapt. You're able to adapt to whatever situation you're in. So again, like finding a new job or even like going to a party and like maybe you don't know anyone at the party. You'll just motherfucking start talking to people and start being around people, and everyone will like you because of your confidence, because of your charisma, because you can read the room. And believe it or not, a lot of people can't read the room because some people feel like okay, let's say let's say you're from like the projects or something like that. You're gonna say from the hood. You cannot go to a country club to do business and still act like you from the hood not to say it's something wrong with how you act in the hood but like come on you get what I'm saying you have to understand how to read the room you have to understand how to fit in the same thing if you're from the you know the suburbs and you come to the to the hood and you're trying to act you know all suburban and act, act like you don't know what's going on you guys instead of trying to look like you fit in they're gonna you know try to cross you like there there are bad people on both sides you get what I'm saying both sides there are all th so the best thing to do is try to just fit in where you get in where you need to yes it's okay to stand out yes it's okay to to um to stand out but you know in the 50 in the uh, 48 laws of power or whatever 
they always say think differently but but look the same you get what i'm saying that's one of the world those rules. it goes something like that so it's okay to think differently it's okay to have a, a um a better mindset than other people but to be on a safe side to keep yourself empowered to keep yourself out of trouble it's best to try to just fit in with the crowd even if you know that you don't think like the crowd and you're able to do that and because you're able to do that people really don't like that about you because some people can tell like because some people i guess they've been around you and they watched you cold switch and they're like man that person do not act like that but every time the boss come around they acting all good and stuff and the, and the boss is an angel but he really don't do no work but you know he never get caught doing no work because the boss won't believe us <laughs> like you're so good at it like you'll be the type of person to not do a, like something for a group project and the teacher will believe but won't believe the other students that you didn't do it the whole time you really didn't do it but it's like in front of you you're so polite you always turn your work into her like you're always on time you're always complimenting her you're always asking questions so they're like man what did y'all do we get saying people really hate that because it's like damn like this person just got it so easy in life but you don't have it easy in life you just learn you just took the time to learn people learn psychology and use it to your benefit like Everybody thinks so much stuff is a sin, but nobody said you couldn't use your strength to your benefit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody said that. I don't see anywhere in the Bible where it say, well, this Bible that most people made up, but that's something I, listen, I'm not even going to get into that. Like, nowhere, I don't, I don't foresee in spirit saying, God saying, do not use the talents that I've given you because it may make you better than the other person who does not know how to use their talents. And that is a sin. I did not foresee him saying that. You know what I'm saying? God gives us all talents. It's your choice whether or not you want to use them or not. It's your choice whether or not you figure out how to capitalize it or not. You get what I'm saying? You also have a lot of greenery in here. So some of you guys probably eat healthy. You guys, you guys in this pile really care about your body and your appearances because you're not. It's like a lot of us just eat to eat to eat to so like just eat to eat but you eat to live like you of course you enjoy food and stuff like that but you're very conscious of what you're putting in your body like you're not listening I'm, you're not about to you're not a person that's just going to eat anything and just drink anything some of this pile don't even drink soda you know what I'm saying like y'all take it that far because it's like i don't want foreign objects and unnecessary objects in my body you get what i'm saying and like people be hating that you know what's crazy like i've been a vegan for a couple years and remember my stories are about myself or yours so just think it this listen to what i'm saying i'm never going off topic just listen so i've been a vegan well i still eat seafood so i guess the pescatarian but i don't eat chicken i don't eat any mammals right and every time i i tell somebody that or i'm in a a, a group setting and somebody offers me a mammal and they're like oh do you want you know chicken or you want this burger and i'm like no i don't eat beef people get offended they be like oh well she thinks she's too good to eat that oh well she don't eat beef or they'll say it before me even before me like if we go somewhere to eat they'll be like oh she don't even eat chicken like you get what i'm saying and it's like people will will act like you think that you're better than them because you don't put something inside your body because you don't agree with eating something and then they'll start trying to explain themselves to you like yeah well i don't eat chicken sometimes i don't eat chicken like that or not all chicken is bad for you or i couldn't i couldn't even give up chicken like how do you know that's not helping you like why you feel what I'm saying? Like they'll try to make it. They'll try to. They'll try to to try to explain themselves why they make the choices that you make. When honestly, you don't care. Like I said, well, that's how I feel. And I feel like you feel that too. Number two, number problem number one. It's like honestly, I don't care what you do. This is my choice for my body. And no, I'm not being condescending by not doing it in front of you because I wouldn't do it if you wasn't here. So I'm not gonna do it because you are here. You get what I'm saying? But people, that's how people be. All right. So your next card out is um this you got this whatever the hell she is <laughs> like a snake body with a woman a woman body eating this apple what i'm saying with this car is you're very beautiful but very slick some some of you guys might be slick talking this is like this is a dangerous ass composite um, um combination and i can see why people are mad or hating on you because imagine being somebody who is in touch uh, who who's able to balance their feminine and their masculine energy they're able to fight strong like a man but use her intuition and think with their emotions like a woman and then they're able to code switch and adapt to any environment they're in and then on top of that they're a slick talker and they're really sexy in their optimistic always looking for the new the uh, always know there's more to come always thinking abundantly always knowing that um you'll have more as long as you ask the universe and then on top of that taking care of your body your heart chakra you probably probably been working on your heart chakra with this all this greenery you've been working on your overall growth like imagine being around someone like that you get what i'm saying it's like it kind of it kind of sheds light on 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 yourself like yo you could be doing a lot better like you really ain't doing shit 
like this person finds the time to live in this 3D world, pay bills, go to work. You gotta say spend time with their loved ones, still hit the gym or eat healthy, still work on whatever their dreams and passions are, still time still time for their spirituality, and then on top of all that, find time for self-care. Like you gotta say, like that is a fucking machine. You gotta say, and you make people hate on you not because they um you're a, a person that's easily hate that's easily hateful or like easy to hate on or like mean or something like that or a thief or something like people hate on you because they want to be you and they want to do what you're doing they want to embody your energy but they don't know how and honestly you ain't do anything but make the choice to be a better person that's all you did pal number you made the choice and you stuck to it you got angel therapy. Some of you guys may have thought about going to therapy or feel like you need therapy or want to be a therapist. They think you should move forward with that decision. You get what I'm saying? So go ahead. If you, It looks like you guys already been on a journey of self-care, of healing yourself and, and making yourself stronger. And maybe you um, feel like you need to go to therapy. Some of you guys, this could be like emotional therapy. For some of you guys, this could be physical therapy or something therapeutic. Th therapeutic. That, but they want you to go ahead and keep on working on yourself but it's something that needs therapy so whether it be like some old situations that you quite, haven't quite healed from yet or some therapy on your body they want you to move forward with it because it will do nothing but strengthen this little ball of energy that you already have All right but with that being said that is your reading file number one i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the full notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you are interested in getting a personal reading that information in the description box below if you are interested in enter my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below with that being said moving on to pile number two okay pile number two why do people hate you hey he's going to hate and why so haters hate you because you draw too much attention they feel like you draw too much attention and they feel like you mad aggressive like when you want something whether it be a person place or a thing that you want like you're the type that's gonna go and get it like you're not like not to say that some of you guys are like if you try to talk to someone in the street and they reject you like you won't um you'll keep pursuing them no not to say it like that but like if you like a, a female like you're the type to or a male whatever you into you're the type to be like okay i like this person how you would have to sit back and learn about this person. What this person like? Where does this person like to go? And then you might go and ask this person on a date. And it'll be very calculated. And next thing you know, you'll be married to this person or in a relationship with this person. Or if you want a job, you'll go do research on a job, get school and get the job, and then you'll get the job. Whatever, or you want this apartment, you'll get you'll figure out what the requirements are and you'll go get it. The thing is, what people don't see, because people just see you busting in, busting in shit. Like anything you want, whether it be a person's life or like a place you want to live or somewhere you want to work or a business you want to start, they see you just busting in it and taking control. But what they don't see is all the preparation work because with this being nighttime i feel like some I'm, I'm hearing like i'm hearing my ears itching some of you guys ears might be itching. somebody talking shit but um what i'm hearing is this is i'm hearing um um long nights and early mornings so they don't they don't see the preparation that goes into being you they don't see the preparation that goes into you getting your goals they don't see the preparation that it takes for you to get the things that you want they just see the after effect so they feel like oh this person just aggressive they just come in they just take it yes you do take it but you put you prep you prep yourself to take it you get what i'm saying so that's why it, it kind of feels like you're aggressive because especially if this is a work thing or a person thing it's like okay we were all we all look at this girl we all want this girl so but this man is being aggressive like he taking her on dates every week he keep buying her he buying her this and buying her that making her like easier he emotionally available like how's he doing all this he still got a job at work he he was working on his body because what they don't know is maybe you were following a girl on social media maybe you knew a couple of friends you asked what she liked you know what I'm saying? maybe you took the time to speak to her then on top of that before you even came at her you were saving your money for months and months and months like all right i'm gonna spend you know five bands on her gradually or whatever to get her you know to take her to nice places so i can spend time with her and maybe i don't gotta work overtime because i already saved this money so my bills is paid so like you're that calculated like this is capricorn taurus energy like you're calculated and yes and whatever you're going to do like even if it's a job like okay i was studying this job you know i've been you know emailing people who work there i found someone who worked there see what the boss i got you know like you prepped already so when people do see the finished result or when people when everyone's headed to the same situation like again with the girl situation let's say that they don't know that you've been with platinum on homegirl right because listen to what else listen to my story because my stories make sense i really need y'all to because this, this is how this is how i channel right so let's say like y'all were all trying to get to the same girl right 
you already prep for this. These motherfuckers did not prep for this. They were just like, I'm gonna just go in there and I'm gonna just wing it. So I'm gonna just try to text her every other day. I'm gonna try to take her to like a taco spot or so, some shit. Like, you know, I'm gonna just try to wing it. Like, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have no plan. You come in there with a set plan. You're like, no, I'm gonna talk to her for three months. I'm taking her on a trip for her birthday. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Next thing you know, eight months later, I'm putting a wing on it. She's mine. Y'all niggas is out of here. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, they're like, yo, he aggressive. Like, he aggressive. I don't like this. I don't like this man like he just trying to outdo us he not think when reality whoever in this energy of power was you are never thinking about their competition you are just an strategic strategic planner whether you are a male or female whether it's relationship business house car whatever it is you already was planning for it so no you're not being aggressive trying to take things out from other people no you're not trying to be aggressive trying to get you know trying to one up on people we're going to put one up because people taters tend to think when you do something like um to improve your life or getting things it's because you're trying to one up on people they don't realize that yes yeah, some people just want nice stuff for themselves and they're not fucking thinking about you like you know what I'm saying? so it's like they can't beat you and you're so aggressive with whatever you want especially if it's a competition they're like yo I, I don't understand this motherfucker like you get what I'm saying and that, that's why they hate you but it's like it's, again it's preparation it's preparation and they just what they don't understand the next card you got out is the the alien card the three of swords so what I'm saying with this card is you pay attention so while everyone is distracted and trying to get to things fast you know how to pause and pay attention the thing that people hate about you the most is the fact that you pay attention and you um you pay attention and you take your time with stuff. You never feel the need to rush things. You never feel the need to speed things up. You feel the, you know that things are working just as they should be. And people don't really like that because they feel like, why are you so patient? Why are you not panicking like the rest of us? Why can you control yourself? Why do you control your urges? Like, who are you to be able to do that? For just being on a patient but the, the thing about hate hate is like really love they really love they really admire you that's what it is hate is really admiration so when people hate on you for stuff that you feel like is basic and stuff that you know good and well that if they really put their mind to and practice they could do as well it's because they really admire you but they hate you because they feel like they can't be that and they don't know how to embody that you get what i'm saying so they kind of hate you because you figured it out before them and people always feel like they want to be first because they want to show off like people always want to be the top dog but they don't want to do top thing dog they don't want to do top dog things like plan strategically plan you get what i'm saying especially for their life like i never understood people who choose not to plan for their life you get what i'm saying i don't understand that how do you expect to have money how do you expect to have a, a healthy relationship if you don't plan for it you get what i'm saying so the um last card out for why your haters hate you is because they feel like you look down upon them they feel like you're condescending they feel like your overall ex <laughs> they feel like your overall existence is condescending which is crazy because how can they be condescending it's like literally like you're not the things that you do to improve yourself the things that you do to put you on the top you're not thinking about others like you're not in the, in your house like oh i'm about to do this and it's gonna fuck the it's gonna fuck the streets up like all my friends gonna be mad all my family gonna be mad all my haters gonna be looking at me like you don't care <laughs> like you know i don't i never understood people like be like oh y'all gonna be really mad when they show me really mad with that like why i don't care if people mad or not all I care about is whether I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and getting what I, I'm getting what I want to get. I don't give a fuck about people being mad. I don't care about being people be, making people jealous. I could care less. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I don't even want you to be that focused on me. You know what I'm saying? Because nothing, it's nothing like an evil eye. Like you don't want an evil eye on you. Who wants an evil eye? You know what I'm saying? I don't want no evil eye on me. All right, so we're gonna pull you some angel advice before I move on. Prioritize. 
So what this card is telling me is continue to prioritize yourself, continue to prioritize your goals, continue to fight for the things you want, and don't worry about the haters. Like, fuck them, because you're winning. You're winning, pile number two. You're winning, and you're going to keep winning. You know what I'm saying? Because this strategy, this little plan strategy that you, you have come up with helps you. It helps you a lot in the things that you want and the endeavors that you want. So just continue to strive for better and continue to try to be as the best the best version of you that you possibly could be of yourself. I feel like you were put here to be the ultimate version of yourself to become the ultimate person for person that you were the ultimate version of yourself so continue to do so and go and i'm sure you're going to get there so with that being said that is your reading power number two i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in getting a um personal reading that information in the description box below if you're interested in getting a uh into my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a um <laughs> this is funny. Leave a, a heart, a red heart in the description box below. So why do people hate you? So people hate you because no matter how, okay, I mean, it's two ways. The first way is people hate you because they try to bag you. And it's like, it's really hard to bag you. It's really hard to get you to, to settle down because you know you got options. And others of you are just focused on your riches right now. You're just focused on getting money. Let me see if I can pull this up a little closer. You're just focused on getting money, being, um, being a rich bitch or a rich man or wealthy man or just building generational work for your family or breaking curses or just having nice things and being stable. Some of you guys were homeless. Some of you guys uh, were addicted to drugs. Some of you guys li used to live in rooms or shelters or like that. I'm seeing somebody crying at bed, but you're going to be getting an apartment soon or even a house soon, or you already have that. You came from that. And it's like, people don't see people. Cause see, that's the thing about people. When they see people doing good, they don't know what people came from. You just assume that it was easy. Like shit, do not be easy. You get what I'm saying? It's never easy. Right? So I say like to say is people feel like no matter what happened to in your life or who tried to bring you down, it was hard to keep you down. It was hard. It was hard for you to, it was hard for you to give up, right? And they don't like that. Some people may have sent evil eye to you. Some people may have sent bad energy to you. Some people may have just been talking shit. Some people have, if you're in that type of realm, some people might have even used magic on you to try to keep you down and try to block your energy. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, damn, no matter what they did, it's like you still elevated. You still, you know you still became the person that you are today or you're going to become that person that you are today and people are really mad about that the other for others of you and also and also add this if it resonates you are easy to tie down easy i mean you're hard to tie down hard to bag like people will be trying to bag you like people will be trying to like get you to settle down but you'll be like listen i'm not settling down with nobody i'm just trying to work on myself i'm trying to be the best version of myself but like, i'm just not worried about it i'm not interested but people be feeling like okay if i buy them this if i take them there if i do this or if I I call him if i fuck him like this if i fuck her like this if i do that if i do this they will love me they will settle with me i will be the one not realizing that you're not not choosing the one because you feel like uh no one's not like not to say that everyone's good enough but it's not mainly that it's mainly because you're more focused on yourself or you're focused on your elevation some of you guys really started from the mind some of you guys really started from nothing you get what i'm saying so you're more focused on that you get what i'm saying so that is why you're, you're, and like it's just kind of making people mad and you know what's crazy you wouldn't think that people who have a crush on you would hate on you because they see you doing better you would think if you have a crush on me why would you want to see me doing good but they don't because you're not doing good with them you're not doing good with them and they can't have them people do not like people always want what they can't have and sometimes they even hate it if they can't have what they want because you know as americans especially if you are if you're watching for america we are very spoiled so we're not you are used to getting everything instant well overall the world is becoming very spoiled everything's instant you can get some, you can get food delivered to your house like this you can, i can go turn on my sink and water can run out like this you get what I'm saying? it's like everything is so instant really i can if i really wanted to have sex and have somebody hold me tonight i can get on tinder and find a date right now instant you get what i'm saying so everything is so instant so when you're able when you're not able to get something that you can always get anywhere it kind of makes it more valuable and it kind of makes you angry a little bit a little bit and especially if you're insecure because you're like okay what's wrong with me so that's how you make people feel problem with it you're gonna say but that's not your fault your next card out is six of pentacles so what why people hate you is because they get caught up in their ear web and they feel like they can't get out so you probably have all these exes who are still obsessed with you you probably like you probably even type the type of person that's been at um 
that's left jobs, right? That's left old jobs. And a fucking job your manager probably asks about you. You kind of like, damn, I wish Taylor still worked here because if Taylor, Taylor used to watch this, it's so good. Or Taylor used to really crush the numbers and I could trust what they were saying. These little associates, they don't know what they're doing. Like, you, whatever you are, People want to miss you and they'll never forget you. It's like they're tangled. They're obsessed with you. It's like they obsessed with your energy, your vibe, the way you treated them, the way you treat others. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, it's really hard for people to want to let you go. You get what I'm saying? It's really hard for people to want you to let go. And sometimes it'd be, it be time to go. Sometimes it really be time to go. But people hate you because they feel like you do this shit on purpose, but you don't. It's just some people have that energy. Somebody you might be a Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, or a Leo. I'm also getting Libra energy. Your last card out is six of wands. Why are people obsessed? I mean, why are people hating on you, right? Again, people are obsessed with you. Like, people are so obsessed. Yo, you probably nonchalant as shit, yo. You probably so nonchalant. I would hate you too. Like, I would hate you. Because your hate is not like a, your hate is not like the other powers. Like, the other powers is like a deep hate. Like, oh, I'm jealous of you. Take Your hate is more like, oh, I hate this person because I can't have this person. I hate this person because they just won't sit still. I hate this person because they left me. Like, I really hate this person because they made me feel something and then they they took it away that's the type of stuff you have so what makes what makes people uh hate you pile number three is because they feel like you're a hard cookie to crack they feel like you may be close to them and you'll get them to be vulnerable and then make them feel small but they they never feel that same closeness to you it's like it's like um i seen this tiktok oh my god i cannot wait to get my camera and my laptop so i can edit this shit in when i talk about it i always say that but i'm gonna do it um this tiktok and it was saying how uh, uh, how you be gossiping at work and then they ask you like, oh, how you doing? They expect you to tell them their business. It's like, no, you sit here and you come in here, you tell me all your business. You tell me everybody else's business. So why would I tell you my business? It's like you got that type of energy. It's like you'll allow people to talk. You'll allow people to express themselves, but you won't... Um, Overextend yourself. You won't. You'll. You'll be like, okay, I can't trust you because if you want to run your mouth about their business, about your business, what you gonna do with my business? You get what I'm saying? So, are uh, you? It also, some of you guys are are people who tend to talk less and listen more. I feel like those are the smartest type of people in the world because what the fuck are we talking for? Why are you talking so much? Especially if you don't know somebody, like you don't need to tell everybody all your business. There's a difference between being friendly and oversharing. You're not one that overshares. You get what I'm saying? But you do have some advice, and this advice is not very good. Your advice is to be gentle. You need to practice being gentle because you might, you're probably a player for real because you know you're emotionally unavailable. You know it, and you tell, and you probably like, listen, you know I was emotionally unavailable when you got here. Or others of you, it's not that you're trying to be as unemotionally un, un, unavailable. It's that you assume that everyone's emotions is like yours. You, you assume that everybody can control their emotions like you can, can control yours. You assume that it's like people take pain the way you take pain. You assume that people can move on like you move on, but that's not the case. So they're trying to be more gentle. Try to be more gentle with people. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, don't just, you know, jump in and out their lives because you're like, oh, I'm working on myself. I don't really care. They'll be okay because they should be working on themselves too. Like, try to, you know, be more gentle with people. Try not to start relationships if you feel like you're not staying that long. But sometimes it, I mean, sometimes it just happens, you know? Sometimes it just happens. But just try not to allow others to open up to you if you're not going to open up to them you get what i'm saying but that it is what it is take it however however you feel about it but that's what my spirit god told me to tell you because i guess they tired of it they tired of people probably people probably because i'm getting they people probably trying to be trying to manifest you back people be trying to do love spells on you and all types of shit they be trying to get you to come back and i guess your ancestors is tired of fighting that shit like dog we cannot have all these people trying to come at us we just can't because i because i can't take it no more i can't take it if another spirit come come in here i'm gonna let them through because it's like this is this is too much this is too much you get what i'm saying so just be just be mindful of the conversations you'll be having and set boundaries okay pile number three but with that being said that is your reading pile number three but it's not your fault they want you to say it's not your fault but they you know they want you to try to be with great power comes responsibility <laughs> yo but, uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it resonates, they, um, let me know. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. If you're interested in getting a um, an enter my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the description box below. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next pile. Bye.